Well, apparently what happens is that sometimes I want to talk about these things and I feel like we can't or we shouldn't just based on the mere fact that you still hold yourself to this thing like, yo, we're from the streets, right, of New York City, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and you're going to be looked at or perceived as if you're telling when in or actuality is actually not letting you grow. So at times I fight through it. But today we're here to talk about a few young men that committed a robbery. And I speak from experience when it comes to being charged with robberies, uh, numerous of crimes that I've committed respectfully and just telling a story in hopes that you don't end up like us. Because I've had over 25 arrests and over 19 convictions that's sad sad right when you think about it but i just hope that they got looking for the right people because not all the time when a crime is committed and people point the finger doesn't mean that it was that individual also me myself i've been in situations like that where i was locked up and it wasn't even me this time and no one would believe me because i was doing so many robberies and robbing so many people in the street to keep up with my lifestyle or my addictions and whatever i was indulging and however i was moving at those times but these young men right here they put them out there uh new york city the media and they stated that they grabbed an 82 year old man i don't think that you understanding what i'm telling you so give me a second a 82 year old man my guy they grabbed this dude snatch him out of his vehicle wop and take off with his vehicle like if it was some 5m gta 5 and all that and here's the thing it's not a game it's real life it's going down i'm so sorry are you hurt well, Leo, Leo. oh jesus ah! Ah! you after me boy in real life <laughs> I can't go to Rikers again? Nah, nigga. I'm not going to jail, bro. I'm on the highway on the Van Wick. I'm That's where you was at? That never call me insane. again. And I'm taking his car. The cops are coming. You call the cops already? Alright, bye. That's how y'all living? Somebody always gets hurt. It's not a video game. It's real life. Right? So life is not a video game. You just can't go on and committing these acts that we or other people may be doing in video games in real life. A lot of times I hear about these things, carjackings, pulling people out the car, Smacking Thundercats, blah, or you can finish him, damn you, right? And that these things happen in the streets. And I've done a lot of ignorant stuff, but when I hear it today, knowing like the games and the impact that the games even have on the content creation industry, because a lot of people, millions of people are making content based on that, I'd be like, yo, they was living out that. GTA, bro. That's crazy. 
And then again, they might not have been, right? But more than likely, they did. Trust me, bro. I know what goes on in the hood, the gut of the slums, everybody playing GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto, M5. Uh, uh, this been going on for years, you heard? They, they gang banging in the games, they hustling, and it's all good, right? If you're making content and it's for entertainment, but when you go out trying to live that same way, here's the difference, and I pray, and I wish that somebody could get something out of this, right? You did all that. You take a dude out his car, beat him up, whatever, take his money, his few dollars, cents, whatever, right? Uh, they slay you for that in New York City for robberies, right? Um, and don't let them put it down as a hate crime. Like he was another raise and you was this. You're definitely going down, right? So you do all that and you go into jail or they looking for you. You're definitely going. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. You're going, Right? And you didn't even really make no money. Where you got $10, $20, $80 tops from a dude in the street randomly? You got to be super lucky or know who you picking or somebody. You know, I'm not trying to tell you how to do robberies or somebody tell you, yo, he got it. I know for a fact, right? Like a setup. And, and it's sad when you could utilize the tools on the internet and do the thing in, in real time. Like you seen, in, this is what I'm trying to show you right here. That game I was playing, I'm slapping Thundercats out of dudes. I'm taking cars from dudes. Dudes is leaking. We gang banging. We doing everything we used to do in the streets. Not too long ago, we was doing that for free, right? Now, when we do it on the internet, we do it for a fee. I stream my games and get paid for committing car robberies, jackings, and all that. <laughs> It's awesome. It can't get much better than that. You got to utilize the tools that are given to you. It's right in the palm of your hand. But we choose to use it just for bad, to comment bad, hate on the next man. Uh -huh. But here's your ticket, bro. If you're trying to get money, if you're trying to do anything, it's in the palm of your hands, my dude. You just got to put in a little work and the rest is going to come in time. Time is everything, but we want things right then and there. We want instant gratification. We react off impulse, boom. And that don't get us nowhere but at Rikers Island. So that's what works for me. I see that today when I play those games, and I've been playing games since I was a kid. I've been a gamer. Whoever knows me knows. But I've been around since way before Atari. Facts. When you had to... <laughs> But anyway, check us out on Warpath NYC right here on YouTube <laughs> for the gaming. You could pop in, we could talk, chill, have a good time, and get a few streams on and help you grow your platform. But with that being said, some of those robberies you commit in the street are for free, my dude, for wreck. You don't get a dollar, but a bid, a big bid. When you could do the same thing and you get the same feeling, I'll be hype in the game. And get paid for it in real time, legitimately, <laughs> legally, <laughs> right? I know it may seem far-fetched, like the comparison, but I'm pretty sure if you're bright, you get what I'm saying. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section, man. Do you even care about 82-year-old man getting pulled out of his car, slammed on the floor, beat up, and his money being taken by some young punks? <laughs> what about if that was your grandfather? I don't know. You tell me.